And well, it's a one win away from their first World Cup in 64 years and no prizes for guessing. Starman was once again, yes, Gareth Bale at his brilliant best, scoring two stunning goals, including a free kick his manager says was the best he'd ever seen as Wales beat uh, Austria 2-1. We spoke yesterday about how big the game is um, and we have to perform, we have to dig in, in deep to, to look at our experience in big games and um, yeah, it's a perfect scenario. Playing in front of these, what more can you want? Um, you know, we're one game away from from that World Cup, which is, you know, everything for myself, for Baylor, for the nation, for the group of lads in here. This is what we want. You know, we've uh, we've come a very long way since the uh, since the early days, and this would just be the icing on the cake now for us to to go on and qualify for this. We know still a bit of work to be done, but we can enjoy tonight. What a game! What a game! What a night! What an occasion! What an event! Two great goals, a deflected goal against, makes it an anxious last half an hour. But to a, to a man, I thought they were outstanding tonight, honestly. They went six foot four, six foot seven, put balls in the box. We had to, we had to dig a trench and, and defend for our lives. And, uh, and they, they thoroughly deserve all the plaudits they're going to get those players. They're an unbelievable group of men. Right, so there we have it. We're going to speak to Har Robson Karno, just one home win away from the World Cup. Goodness me, what a night it was. How was that? Is the belief absolutely right there now? Yeah, it is. Uh, it was a massive game for the nation and uh, the team really performed on the night. All of the players really stepped up to the plate and delivered for the nation and I think you know, it gives them that momentum going into you know, what is one, one game away from qualifying for uh, the first World Cup in a very, very long time. So, yeah, fantastic performance, um, fantastic result and, and a really special night again for Wales. I mean, Gareth Bale, again, the hero, you know him well. What, what will that mean to him? Yeah, it would have meant everything. He's had a very difficult uh, season um, at Real Madrid. Um, I think based on the minutes he played yesterday, he's actually played more minutes for Wales this season than, than Wales. So an interesting um, stat there. Uh, but again, he's, he's shown uh, his, his level of commitment to the nation um, the, the level of performance that he's continually delivered. Uh, and again, it's a, it's a great night, special moment for him. He's been a talisman for the nation for over a decade. And, you know, what, what a way to, to top off an international career by hopefully taking the, 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 the nation to the World Cup. Level for, for his country. Yeah, definitely. I think it's, uh, it, again, he, he's, he's shown that passion continually. He's, uh, he's been at the, the heart of everything good around Wales. He's bringing up now a younger group of players who are learning from him, and they've got that real quality togetherness that, that you need to go into any international tournament. And if they, you know, if they are successful in, in qualifying, it will be, without doubt, one of the greatest achievements uh, in, in the football history of Wales. How he's treated in Spain and, and how the media are with him obviously upsets him greatly. He says the way he's treated is, is disgusting. The Spanish media called him a parasite. What, what do you make of that criticism and how will it affect him? Yeah, I think Gareth will be used to the criticism now. Uh, I think a lot of it has been unjustified over his tenure there. He's actually, you know, achieved some phenomenal success, Champions League successes, the legal wins. And, you know, he's scored goals and vital goals at that in, in Real Madrid's history. So it's a little bit unfair. But again, uh, at that top level, uh, they expect continual performance, continual, uh, you know, results. And when it's not going against them and uh, it, it, they're in a difficult period, it's always going to be tough. And the criticism isn't nice, but I think it will be water off a duck's back for, for Gareth mm. now. Do you think sometimes he does feel a little bit like when he scores a goal, he's had a great game for Wales? It is a message to Madrid and he, he enjoys that. Potentially, yeah. I think you saw in his reaction yesterday, you know, he was shouting down the camera and whether that was directed to Madrid or to the fans of Madrid. But he's, he's got world-class attributes. He continues to deliver at that level. Uh, and again, you know, big fingers crossed, he, he has uh, some more game time from now to the end of the season for Madrid. Uh, continues to put in performances like he did last night. Uh, and uh, again, it's only going to bode well for, for the nation. 
Of course, there was Aaron Ramsey and Joe Allen as well also playing in this one. For some of these senior players, I mean, it does feel like this is their last chance at a World Cup. How much will the squad have wanted to do it, uh, do you think? Yeah, you can see that in the group. That there's a real desire and a real hunger. Even, you know, the likes of Wayne Hennessy last night making his 99th cap. It, these are phenomenal achievements and it shows the legacy which will have been left you know, after this generation obviously, you know, moves on. But I think, again, uh, it, it's a very special way to, to top off uh, a, a really unique period in, in the, uh, the history of Wales. And fingers crossed they can get over the line with one more game and, and have some phenomenal success in another major tournament. And we're just seeing scenes here of, of the fans in the stadium. And goodness me, what a night it was. It was absolutely brilliant. It looks like, um, looks like Saturday night in Cardiff there, doesn't it? A, a little bit. But <laughs> how much do you think the home crowd is actually going to be key to Wales going forward? Because it is a home game next to secure their place, of course. Yeah, it, that's going to help massively. Cardiff City Stadium on nights like night, last night are absolutely rocking. And that they've continually delivered and been that red wall and have been that 12th man to really deliver on performances, push results over the line. And again, nights like last night, you saw the jubilation after the game, the celebrations, just absolutely phenomenal. So, yeah, it's a, a really special time. Uh, and again, fingers crossed, one more result at Cardiff City Stadium, uh, you know, is, is, is hopefully going to be a very special moment. Absolutely. Uh, we've seen so much progress from Wales in the last few tournaments, but when actually you look at the, the young players coming through, do you think the future is actually looking pretty bright for Wales? Yes, a few big names you'd imagine won't be playing beyond the World Cup. Um, when they don't have the likes of Bale, etc., they'll go through a bit of a transition period, but actually it might be a little smoother. Yeah, it's always difficult to replace the likes of Gareth Bell and Aaron Ramsey, um, as well as Joe Allen. But again, when you look at the group of players, the likes of Harry Wilson, Dan James, uh, you know, Brennan Johnson now coming through, having a phenomenal season at Nottingham Forest. Th these guys can definitely make that step up, be leaders, and deliver continually at an international level, which is you know, what happened with the group of players over the last decade. So it, it, the future bodes well. Uh, again, I, I don't think we'll see another Gareth Bell for um, yeah, quite a while. But, but fingers crossed that that next generation can believe and, and see if it's possible to compete at this level and deliver success for a nation like well. And how important do you think it's going to be for Rog Page when he does assemble his squad if they do qualify for the World Cup to take a lot of these younger players as well in the squad who, who may not necessarily get the chance to play but certainly experience what a big tournament is like to, to kind of give them that in their minds for, for the future? Yeah, that experience is invaluable. Um, and the, the strength in depth is you know probably you know the only real concern with Wales at this moment in time. If you look at that first eleven, that's probably the strongest eleven for Wales for a number of years. But in terms of you know the, the depth and the experience, it, it probably isn't there. But if he you know if they can take these players to a international tournament such as the World Cup to gain that experience, you know have have game time on on the pitch. It's only going to offer you know additional value to, to the players and 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 build them and, and and support their growth and and ultimately the objective is to deliver continually to be at this level um, and and you know continually rise up the FIFA rankings. Yeah, just one more game to go for now. Thank you.